Hi guys and welcome to Protopi Bootcamp. If you're totally new to Protopi and you want to get up and running fast, then this is a great place to start. Most online software courses are packed with hours and hours of in-depth training. And that's great if you have bags of time to spare learning everything. But sometimes you just want to learn just enough to get started as quickly as you can. I wanted to make a course that gives you everything you need to know in the shortest possible time. I've pared down the content in this course to give you the bare essentials and teach you what you need to know in just about two hours. By the end of this course, you'll be able to build some pretty advanced prototypes and you'll have a good idea of all the important features Protopy has and how to use them. For the time it takes to watch a movie, you could learn a powerful interaction design tool and I guarantee it will change the way you work. More than that, it will give you the freedom of design expression that you've been searching for. So if you're ready for that, let's get started. Hi, so in this first lesson, we're gonna look at how you can import graphics into Protopy. And Protopy supports importing graphics from the big three apps, so namely Figma, Adobe XD, and Sketch. And this import button in the top left-hand corner is a bit of a legacy um, button which is left over from before Protopy had plugins for each of these apps. So now if you go to any of these, you'll be taken directly to a page where you can download the plugin for that particular app. So depending on what app you use. Okay, so we're just gonna step through um, just the three apps and how they work with the plugins and then we'll look at some other stuff. So first off, I'm going to look at Figma. So I'm going to skip over to Figma, which I've got running in the background here. And I've got this asset, this, this button here, and I want to import it into, into Protopy. So I've already got the plugin installed. So I'm just going to come over to my plugins and just gonna find the Protopy plugin. Here we go. And that's just going to open that up. So for Figma, we've got this little little box here, and you can see here it says select frames or layers to export. So first off, I'm just going to select my button, and you can see as soon as I select my button, it becomes active, and it's it's telling me that I can export this one object into into Prosper. So I'm just going to tap the export button. So it's moved over to my, my Protopy file and it's immediately imported my button graphic. Obviously it's a very simple graphic. And if we come over to the layers panel here, you can see that it's imported my button as a Protopy container. And if I twizzle down the disclosure triangle, you can see here I've got two objects inside of here. I've got my button text objects and I've got my background. And you can see, by these graphics that they're very special graphic files. So this icon here represents an SVG graphic. And this icon here represents, it's kind of like an SVG graphic, but it's a text SVG graphics, um, hence the little T in the bottom right hand corner. If we go back to Figma, we can just have a quick look at how the structure is mimicked. So inside of Figma, I've got a frame, which is synonymous with a group in Protopy. And then inside I've got my text layer and I've got my background layer. So you can see it's got a pretty good one-to-one -one mapping between the between the objects in inside of Figma. Okay. So if I come over to Sketch, so I've got another button here inside of Sketch. Let me just um, change that awful color. Can't have that. Let's have, have a more of a sketchy color. So a kind of yellow color. Not that yellow though. Something like that, that's good, okay. So I've got this button here in Sketch and again, it's a group, it's got a text layer inside of it and it's got a rectangle inside of it. So I'm just gonna select the group here and I'm gonna come up to my plugins menu and I'm gonna find Protopy and I'm going to choose the export to Protopy option. Okay, so that's gonna bring me back over to my file and now I've got my sketch button imported and you can see that it's done exactly the same thing it's brought in a container which was um, synonymous with a group in sketch and then i've got my text layer here and then i've got my when well, this case is called rectangle which is essentially in the background which that is also an svg 
Okay, finally, final one, we'll come over to Adobe XD. This time I've got a red button. <laughs> um, so, and again, if you install the plugin inside of XD, that's inside your plugins menu, which is just down here in the bottom left-hand corner. So I've got Protopie already active here. And if I select my object, you can see it's given me a little thumbnail here to show what's going to be exported. So I'm just going to hit export. And there we go. Now we've got my Adobe XD button. And again, it's got a container and inside it's got a text layer and it's got for the background, it's got an SVG. So you can see that between the three apps, the plugin for Prosopy works pretty much exactly the same which is really good. I'm just going to show you some other features, but we're just going to focus on using Figma. I'm just going to remove these other two buttons here and we'll just focus on this blue button here. So I might want to change something inside of this graphic. So I can actually go back to my original if I wish. So I'm going to go back to Figma here. And let's just say that I want to change the background color to another color. So if I choose the background layer here, and I change it from blue to say a green color. Okay, so if I now hit export again, you're gonna see this actually updated the graph the, the layers that I'd already previously imported. Okay, so there's there's this connection between the the graphics inside of my my graphics program and the graphics inside of Prosopy. And again, this works exactly the same for both Sketch and Adobe XD as well. Okay. Okay, so what if I want to import more than just an object? So if I come back to Figma here, and this time, let me go and find a nice juicy page. So let's take this, this login page. So I'm just gonna select assets eight here. And you can see here inside of the, the plugin that actually it now says export as one scene. So it knows I've, I've essentially selected in Figma, which is a frame, which is sketch would be an artboard and the same for Adobe XD. And both of those would do exactly the same thing as well. And if I hit export here now, it's actually created a brand new scene inside of Protopy and it's imported all of my graphics. Okay, so you can import objects which will import into the selected scene, which is what we did in the first, in the first instance here. But if I select a whole artboard or frame inside of my graphics program, it's going to import into Protopy as a scene. Okay, so one more thing you can do. So I can actually import multiple scenes. So if I select, let's just move over here. If I select, say, these two, so I'm going to shift select, and now I've got two scenes selected, and I'm going to export them all. So if I hit export, got a little bit more work to do here. It's got more, more graphics to import. And you can see it drawing them all in. And there you go. I've actually got two, two scenes now imported all in one go. Obviously, I imported the same scene twice. Okay, so you can import multiple scenes in one go. You can import a single scene. You can import single objects into, into Protopy. And you can select anything inside to import it in. And it all will come in in there depend on what they are. So if they're a text layer, they're going to map to this, this, this text, this post by text layer. If they're any kind of other graphic, they're going to just come in a, as an SVG. If they're grouped, then they're going to be put into Protopy containers. And if they're a PNG image, then they're also going to import as a PNG image. So if you've got like a photo inside of your design, then that's going to come in as a, as a PNG. Okay. So that's how you, that's probably the primary way that you can import your graphics into Prosopy. There are a couple of other different ways that you can also import. So one of the, one of the quick and dirty ways which we used to use is actually, and if I come over to Figma here, and again, every graphics program has a version of this, I can come over to my button again, and I can actually right click this and then come down to copy paste and I can choose copy as SVG. I can also choose copy as PNG, both will work, but I'm gonna choose copy as SVG. And if I come back to Protopy, let's just go to my, my first layer here. I can then paste 
and again I get an SVG. Now you'll see the slight difference here is that because I've done copy as SVG, it's actually taken the whole group and it's flattened it into a single SVG layer as opposed to when I use the importer, it re it remembers the structure of the layers and it and it and it keeps those keeps that structure intact. Okay. And again, for Sketch and Adobe XD, you've got um, copy features which work in exactly the same way. Okay, so there's a third way that I can import my graphics into Protopie, and this I might be using if I'm using Photoshop or Illustrator. I might be just be bringing in a graphic or an image or an icon from one of those two tools, or I might have a set of um, graphics that have been given to me so that have already been exported. I can come over to the media menu here and I can choose image. And I'm just going to come over to my assets folder. And I'm just going to choose this button here. Again, it's an SVG. I'm just going to click open. And again, I've got my graphic imported. Okay. And again, because it was an SVG, it's come in as an SVG. Okay. There's one more thing I want to show you just regarding importing, and that's actually how you might replace graphics. So obviously, if we're using the, the exporter plugins, you've got that ability to go back to your original file and make some updates. But depending on what you're doing inside of Protopie, if you're turning your graphics into components, that's certainly going to break your ability to go back and forth between your graphics apps. And if you reorganize to a certain extent, that could, that could possibly impact as well. So there might be instances where you need to import graphics individually and you don't have that ability to go back. And the way to do that is to use this replace option. So I've got my Figma button selected here. And over in the properties panel here, I can see that there's a replace button. So I'm going to just tap that. And you can see I've got this, um, I've got this other graphic, this Figma 2 button. So I'm just going to open that. And you can see that's just replaced the graphic. Now, one thing to know with this is that when you replace a graphic, it's got to be the same dimensions as the graphic that you're that you your original graphic. Otherwise, it's going to stretch or it's going to squash the graphic. Okay. So normally this will be used for a like for like replacement but just to know that you've got that option as well. Okay, so this about wraps up our look at importing and I'll see you in the next lesson.